Hello, American Patriots. Douglas Ducote here. Breaking news out of Washington, D.C. President Trump held a press conference live, which, oh, by the way, was only covered by Fox News, CNN, and MSNBC, knowing what the press conference was going to be about, chose not to air it. Anyhow, he announced that he is launching what is known as Operation Legend. Allow me to share this with you real quickly. President Trump announced Wednesday that he is deploying 100 federal agents to Chicago to help combat rising crime rates, a move that marks the expansion of the White House's intervention into local law enforcement as Trump continues to position himself as the law and order president. The surge, as Trump called it, of agents to Chicago and other American cities is part of Operation Legend, named after four-year-old Legene Tillaferro, who was fatally shot while sleeping in a Kansas City apartment late last month, and comes as federal law enforcement officers have already descended on Portland, Oregon, and Kansas City, Missouri. The effort to shut down police in their own communities has led to a shocking explosion of shootings, killings, violent murders, Trump said during his speech in the White House East Room. This rampage of violence shocks the consciousness of our nation, and we will not stand by and watch it happen. While sending federal agents to aid local law enforcement is not unprecedented, Attorney General Barr announced a similar surge effort in December for seven cities that have seen spikes in violence. The type of federal agents being sent and some of their tactics have risen concerns among state and local lawmakers. Usually, the Justice Department sends agents under the, its own umbrella, like agents from the Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco, the ATF, explosives, or drug enforcement agencies. But this surge effort will include Department of Homeland Security officers who generally conduct drug trafficking, child exportation, uh, and uh, investigations into such. A number of lawmakers from New York to Portland have spoken out against the Trump administration sending the agents to their cities, especially reports that unidentified federal agents detained protesters in Portland and took them away in unmarked vehicles Portland has been hit with nearly daily demonstrations against police brutality and racial injustice since the death of George Floyd on Minneapolis police custody in late May. Local authorities have also complained the surge have only made the tensions worse, and criminal justice experts say the efforts defy explanation because of the unprecedented amount of Americans and what they're living through. With a pandemic historical unemployment because of the pandemic, and a mass reckoning over race and how minorities are treated by police. The president is attacking progressive cities with troops who are unwelcome and unskilled, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler said in a letter signed by 16 Democrat mayors calling on Trump to reverse his orders. Militarized agents are terrorizing the American people. We must stand together for peace and reform and against these un-American tactics, the mayor said. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot added, We welcome partnership, not dictatorship, and will never tolerate the kind of unconstitutional deployment and state sanctions lawlessness we saw in Portland. Chicago, which is currently experiencing a spat of deadly gun violence, has been a particular target of Trump's criticism. A shooting at a funeral earlier this week left 14 people injured and followed a weekend that saw 10 people killed and 60 injured due to gun violence with black-on-black -black crime. At least 414 people have been murdered in the city this year. These are numbers that are not even, that are hard to believe. The decision to dispatch federal agents to American cities is playing out at a hyper-political, uh, politicized moment when Trump is trying to show he is a law and order president and painting Democrat-led cities as out of control. With less than four months to go before Election Day, Trump has been serving up 
dire warning that violence could worsen if the Democrat rival Joe Biden is elected in November, as he has tried to win over voters who could be swayed by that message. Trump has worked to tie Biden to some of the progressive Democrat lawmakers, have, have echoed calls for protesters to defund the police. The president said that Democrat leaders have embraced the ideology of radical left to defund law enforcement. Biden has not called on police to either defund or abolish, but instead has argued for better training and a redistribution of funding of police to other programs. The use of federal agents against the will of local officials also has set up the potential for a constitutional crisis, legal experts say. That would be Democrat legal experts. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said federal agents were repressing the American rights to protest and he would not welcome federal agents in New York City. I still believe in the rule of law in this country and we would go to court immediately. I believe the president is doing is unconstitutional, he said on MSNBC's Morning Joe show on Wednesday. So here's the bottom line, folks. Because of this huge crime wave that we're seeing in Democrat-run cities, the president has launched this operation to send in federal forces to augment local law enforcement as well as investigate and try and solve some of these murders and take some of these criminals off the street. Something has to be done because the Democrat mayors aren't doing it. In fact, they're allowing their people to be slaughtered like sheep. It's sad what Mayor Lightfoot is doing in Chicago, what de Blasio is doing in New York, what Wheeler's doing out on the West Coast. They are utterly allowing, not peaceful protesters, nobody's against that. They are allowing radical, far-left, Black Lives Matter and Antifa to destroy their cities and endanger the people that they're supposed to protect. And Trump finally said, enough. Now, personally... I will share this with you. He's not going far enough as far as I'm concerned. As a veteran law enforcement officer as well as a military veteran, I'll tell you this. Every one of these Democrat mayors that are bitching and complaining about not wanting federal forces to come in and stop this wild, wild west scenario should be arrested by federal authorities. They should have been arrested for allowing their cities to become sanctuary cities. And basically between that and what they're doing now is open gate to domestic terrorism. They are responsible for what's happening in their cities by not allowing law enforcement to do their jobs, tying their hands behind their back, and making them stand down. President Trump, I call on you, sir, to see to it that Attorney General William Barr and the FBI actively go in and arrest these mayors because there's no place in American society for people like them to allow lawlessness to happen and innocent Americans to be slaughtered. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders, our angel families, our blue and gold star families, our president and our country. Please share this video. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and ring the bell. Check out my channel. If you're an American patriot, I think you'll love it. God bless, and I'll be seeing you soon.